I painted the doors in the hood. While I'm letting this dry, I'm gonna jump on this truck itself. I'm gonna be painting the jams on the truck. And I started to think about, um, which I know I'm gonna have to paint this fender here. I ain't gotta worry about this one. This one coming off. I got the one that goes on on the inside. I painted it yesterday. But I was thinking about when I paint the jams here, go ahead and paint the top. So I ain't got to worry about painting it when I'm doing the uh, actual truck because I got to paint it in pieces anyway, like I said before. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to spray. I'm going to clean this up, spray some guide coat up here. Then I block sand this with some 320 and spray this at the same time I'm spraying the jams. I think that's the plan. All right, let me clean it up, then we'll get started. Before I clean it up, I forgot I gotta take this molding and trim off the seal. On this here, I might just try to push it back and keep from taking the seat belt off. But the rest of it, I'll go ahead and take the molding off of it. It's another piece of plastic trim now. Holding off on both sides. I might as well take this fin off because I gotta take it off anyway. So I take that on and off right now. Fender removed. Let me show you the fender why I had replaced it. You see this rest of that here. I just gotta change over the hinge. Well, I still gotta remove the other hinge because I gotta paint the other side over there. So I remove that before I start cleaning it up. Then I clean it on up. everything cleaned up I started spraying my guide coat with my tip I started stopping up so I went and cleaned it out a little bit but I'm using a satin uh, camouflage green but it ain't got to be heavy you just lightly spraying it on something to go by when you start blocking it let me get something to cover this windshield up so I won't spray it but that's all you got to do okay here's the guide coat this top getting wet sanded by block, but the door jam, I'm just gonna scuff those up with a maroon scotch spray. I had did some of it when I had painted where I did the body work on it. I scuffed up from here back, but I'm gonna hit it again. Let me take my piece off. We'll get started. Okay, got my piece. He's just scuffing it up, putting scratches in it. Get a base coat, something to bond to. Don't take much. This should give my uh, guide coat enough time to dry. By the time I finish this, I'll go ahead and start blocking the top. All the scuffing done, now it's time to block the top. I'm also gonna block the lower portion of here because it's gonna be exposed. You're not gonna be aware. You'll be able to see it. It ain't gonna be in the jam. So I'm gonna block everything that you gonna be able to see on the exterior. But I got some 400 grit here. And a rigid block 
I'm gonna let it soak in my water for a minute or two. Then we'll block the top. Ready to block, got my sandpaper wrapped around it. We're just gonna be going in the X pattern, removing the guide coat. Once the guide coat is gone, we know it's flat. Let's wipe this area here off. You can tell when it's smooth because if you run the rag across it, it won't hang up on you. Like, see how it hung up right there? It'll go off. It'll go across it real smooth. Then you can hear it too as well. No guide coat. Guide coat. Then around these edges, I'm just, I got a, a piece in here. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm ready for my final cleanup. Finished up with all the wet sand. Clean it up one more time, then we'll pull it inside. This the following day. I had let it sit out so everything can dry out before I started spraying the color. Especially up in here. All right. Let me show you what I did over here on this fender. I tried to remove everything off the uh, fender so I can get some paint down up in here, move the computer, also this lid here, took the wire from the thunder. I should be able to get it down up in there like I want it. Let's get us some tape so we can start masking. I had to order some more tape because it seems like I'm going through a lot of tape these last few uh, weeks. I'm going to be back masking the jams. And what I mean by back masking, I'm going to be putting the tape on the back side of it. So I won't have no paint line. Let me show you an example. If I can show on this side, it would be a lot better. So I'm going to be putting the tape on the back side. See, if I put the tape like this here, I have a paint line. But it really don't matter here because the molding going there. But it looks a lot better. The molding going up. It's going to cover all that. But it looks a lot better. You ain't got to worry about no paint chipping and start peeling from that paint line. Alright. I'm just going to finish it all out. Finish up this mask and I'll cut you back on. I done did all the masking for us trimming it out. Now I got a Grab my plastic. I'm going to cover the whole truck, engine bay, bed and all. Cover this here. It thinned up. So I don't get no overspray on it. Be less work I got to do when I wet sand it. This is the plastic I'm going to be using. plastic you can see I pressed this here on the plastic onto it where I back mask now I gotta go back and cut it out like this here all the way around it and I'm also gonna be cutting out right here where I trimmed it out so I can tape and tape the uh, plastic onto the tape
finished up cutting everything out for us to mask it. And now I'm ready to wipe it down with wax and grease remover to remove all my fingerprints and oil using the prep oil as usual. I put an old blanket here to hold this plastic down when I'm spraying up in there. All right, let me wipe it down. Then we'll be spraying a base coat. Put three coats of base, three coats of clear. Everything wiped down. There's a spot when I was wet sanding, I cut through where you see this bare metal. I'm not gonna worry about mixing up no epoxy or nothing like that. I'm just gonna be using this self itching primer at the spray can on that little area there. That's all it takes. Everything else good. Let's go ahead and spray this base. three coats of base you're not really seeing the pearl good but once I put the clear on you'll be able to see it a lot better I also sprayed the bolts for the fender that go on this side since these are gonna be sprayed Alright, let's mix this clear up. We'll spray the clear.
Here's three coats of the clear. You can see the pearl a lot better now. With that clear on it. I'm glad I went on and painted this top because it'd be a house trying to paint the top and the sides when you paint the car, especially something this big. Cause I gotta watch myself for getting into the paint when I'm painting the sides, trying to reach over and do the top. I'm gonna let this sit out here overnight. And then in the morning, I'll put the thunder on install the hood and the doors back on as well. Hopefully we get some sun. I can show you how I look at it in the sun. Got a little trash back here, but it's getting cut and buff in a way. It's a bug or something there. Never stop